Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? What's the shuttle waiting for? Uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We were on a tight ship here, you know. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy. I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? Yes? Oh, my God. Give me that! It's a bomb! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Well, maybe just a sip. <sighs> Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk.
set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. Hey, I always Carla, liked dates more. That's an awfully nice metal detector you have. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. It's locked. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Well... That's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Could be worse. that up. Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. 
Lola! Lola! Oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Mary. Okay, back to work. Okay. Not my employees. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting! Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Aha! Here it is! Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me! Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Looks like it hurts. Hola, Toro. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with naranja here. It's empty. Yeah, I got to remember to get more liquid nitrogen from Morg. Liquid nitrogen? Freeze the bones. Less painful that way. Hey, that sounds good. I could go for that. 
You got plenty of painkiller in that bottle of yours, so shut up and hold still. Down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. <laughs> Still, or I need. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. If I took it, he'd... Ah! It's him. Me and she? It's empty. He'd... He'd... One tattoo pick! Whoop! You need to hold still, or I... You push me to edge, Calavera. It's empty. Attach pretty well. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't really want to do that. Me a poco, but look, you broke it. Now it won't shut. Nemozogia, hold still. What are you, dead? Ugh, Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavargo, what kind of sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle bulls, huh? What you the us gonna know what anger at the name folks give is at me? The tell you I shan't ball on the watch. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. M.I.A. he is. Well, he sobered up. I send him to Limbo. Yeah. Yeah, he'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Are you kidding me? Let's see what you got on you, huh, sailor? I gave him the idea in first place. Seaman Anselmo Naranja Ensign Third ah, Class. Tiger Doesn't can't look change like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. So, you still going? Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? Hey, listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. I'm not using my yeah, union card yeah, yeah, for yeah. anything but getting on that boat. I'm not mm -hmm. using my mm -hmm. union card for anything but getting on that boat. Ah, 
Hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skette, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Sure. A sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. I don't think picking flowers is really appropriate right now. like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... 
Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. <sighs> All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Betting stub, please. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. use when they're alive and stuff they don't have much more. This ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Betting stop, please. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts.
It's a beautiful day here at Feline Meadows. Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. What? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. <laughs> Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Le numéro gagnant, le 19, rouge, entre et passe. 19, red.
Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. Le numéro gagnant, le 34, rouge, Perepas, 34, red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numéro 14 est le gagnant. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they going to close it for? Huh? Yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt and bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución!
convince him. This can't be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Probably be easier to raise it with the motor. I think the best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as a Can't reach. Can't reach. 